Hey there, my name is Marcus Stone and in this video I will show you how you can create your own Google ad. Many people are afraid of creating ads and they don't want to have anything to do with it because they think it's hard and like only a marketers can do it, like anyone can do it. And I will show you like step-by-step -step process, not just like how to create an ad, but what you should think about, how you could analyze the competition, what kind of ads to create to be successful. And it's also important that sometimes, a lot of times, your first ads, maybe one, two, three, won't be performing that well. And why is that? Because you need to test things. You don't actually know how the, the users are going to react to your advertisement. So you need to test, test and test. Every professional marketer right now is testing the ads to see like which is working and which is not. So without further ado, let's go. Now, the first thing you want to do is go to right up corner and click start now in ads.google.com. What will happen that automatically a Google ads will be created as your account, your primary account Gmail one. And if you need to just create a new one and link it to there if you want to. Now, you're going to see it here, like what's your main advertising goal? Get more calls, get more website sales or signups or get more visits to your physical location. Don't click this, any of this. We will click here. Are you a professional marketer? Switch to expert mode. I will guide you how to go through the expert mode and how to do everything. Let's just click here and I will show you. Now you have options like, let's say that you have e-commerce business. You want to increase your revenue, but let's say that you are working as a plumber and you just want to increase traffic on your site. So you got a calls and people can call you and then you gonna like do a plumber job. And now you have options to do sales leads, website traffic or product and brand consideration, brand awareness and app promotion. Let's start with the web, web traffic. That's like the most easiest one. Like everyone is easy, but this is like the, the most people are using. Now you're going to see it here like the search and display. Uh, I recommend just going with the search. And what is it is when I'm going to write a uh, plumber USA, you can see here these ads and this kind of ad we are going to create. Now, when we're here, let's go select the ways you'd like to reach your goal. And let's just add here my website. It's up to you. And now just click continue. When you will be here, you're going to see like the campaign name and you're going to see like the four steps here. The first one is campaign settings. Then we'll have add groups where we will add keywords. Then we will create add and then we have billing. Now we're going to see campaign name. We can name it like plumber website traffic and you're going to select the networks here. Uh, this is like on other Google sites. Let's say that we don't want to have it and we don't want to have also display network because we don't want our ad to appear on the website. Let's say that you are surfing some kind of blog or something and you're going to see like the ad there. And let's say that we want to, we don't want to have it. We want to have only search. We want to have only this. This is going to also save you money because you're going to target only this and you're not going to target the display ads on the right side. Now let's continue. Let's click show more settings. The first thing is start and end dates. So start date of your ad can be today, can be, I don't know, Monday and then end date. Again, you can go to whatever date you want. It's really up to you. I will go 31 of July. You're going to see there campaign URL options and dynamic search at settings. You don't have to worry about that right now. Now we're going to see locations. This is like you can add all countries and territories, Slovakia or enter another location. I'm going to add USA here. United States. What do you need to really think about? Like if you're going to target India, the ads are going to be cheap. If you're going to add like target Eastern Europe, the ads are going to be also cheap. But if you're going to target like United Kingdom, United States, Australia, New Zealand, those ads are going to be much more expensive because the demand is much higher there and companies are bidding like who wants to be ser searched on the first place. Now, you see it here that henrikplumbing.com is on the first place. And what does it mean that he's willing to pay the most money to Google to sh be shown on the first place in Google. Then we get like a second and the third one. So this guy can like pay, I don't know, 30 cents per click. This guy 20, this guy 15 and this guy 10. Now, so this is just need to worry about. But if you have the most traffic from the United States, go with the United States. 
up to you. Then we got like languages here. Again, if you are targeting Thailand, you just want to add that language there. Audiences. Audiences are like what kind of uh, hmm, hobbies, like characteristics of your customers. Let's say that I want to have a plumber, so I will go plumbing. Yep, plumbing services. Then I don't know. Let's say that you want to do marketing, so we just write here marketing, and you're gonna see advertising, marketing services, business, industrial products, and I will just add it here. So this is the audiences. We have it. Now the budget. Let's just change it to USD or Euro. Again, up to you. And what you want to do, like I recommend going like minimal 10, 15 dollars or 10, 15 euro. Why is that? Only because you need to see the results. Because how, how it works, I will show you. How the every business works. What you got is action, right? That's like the ad, it's a product, it's a service, it's whatever. This is action. The action is like the ad. But when you have the action, the second step is result. The result is how well the ad was performing, how well the video was performing and whatever was performing. But to have the result and Google ads, you need to have actually like invest some money into it. Like, so that's why I recommend that you can see, ah, so this isn't actually working. I'm going to test something else. And what does it mean? That's analyzation. So you analyze the result. How did it work? Analyze. And when you got it, you go again to action and you create a new ad. And this is how you improve. This is how you get to the results you actually want by just testing. So this is why I recommend having the budget of 10 to 15 daily. Don't go with like five free. That's just not my recommendation. Bidding, what do you want to focus on? Clicks, yes. Set a maximum cost per click bid limit. What does this mean? Is that let's say that you got expensive ad on web development or finances, like these ads are really expensive. When you would like to do that, uh, the like the cost per click can be, I don't know, even three dollars, three euros, and you don't want to have it like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to add like 1.30. And what does it mean? Is that right now, when I'm going to add 1.30, I can be on a third, third ad spot. But if someone is willing to pay four or five euro per click, he can be on the first one or second one. They just like really understandable. But I recommend starting doing it like this or go like 0 0.50 up to you completely. Then we're going to see like the show more settings here. And what I wanted to show is also like the ad schedule here. You can add a schedule on, let's say that you want to only target weekends, right? Saturdays and Sundays. And this is what you want to target and also the time. So this is what you want to also think about. Let's say that you, I don't know what kind of you would be like to selling for kids, something that the parents are going to buy from home in a Saturday and Sunday could be. So that's like good opportunity right there. Now, when you got it, let's click save and continue. Now, when we continue, we're going to see ad groups. What is an ad group? Ad group is what kind of keywords you want to target so your ad will show on those keywords. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Let's start. Ad group type, standard, yes. Ad group name, let's name it plumber ad. Paste your keywords. And now you're going to select the broad match. Keyword, you can see it right here. Phrase match and exact match. And then when you're going to click on more, you're going to see it also like the negative keywords here. And what does it mean is that when you're going to like the minus sign, you won't target those actually keywords. So we can go with here and we can go with a plumber in USA. And then we can go like with a exit match. Let's say that you want to have a locally. Okay. And you can just like create this kind of 
Really simple, really easy. And right side. You're gonna see, don't see the plumber ad right now, the clicks, but on your ad, you will be seeing here the average cost per click and also cost per day. Now you can also create a different ad group and let's say that I don't want to have it, plumber, and you will just name here all the other cities. Pretty simple, pretty easy. And then you got it. And you, then you get also like the phrase match here. So you can like learn a lot. You see the broad match, exact match, etc. So when we have the ad groups, let's click save and continue. And now we are going to actually create the ad. And what I wanted to talk to you about guys is like how to search for what people are searching for. There are actually a few ways. The first one is go on a site called youautocompleteme.io and you just write here a keyword. And what will happen is that Let's say plum, how to add, I don't know, like, let's say, mm -hmm. glasses how to. The second way is our suggest. When you're going to write our suggest and you can just easily find what people are searching for. Right here. And you can like questions what people are asking. You see it right here. And the third one is also using a Google search. So you just write here plumber in or plumber how to and you just search for those keywords that you want to around your business around your site. So now when we got it, uh, the last thing is that you can also use the keyword planner in Google ads. Now let's create our website, not website, but the ad found URL headline. Let's go plumber. Again, how to create a successful ad. This is what I recommend. Check how the competition is working. What kind of what kind of keywords they're using, how you can be better, like think, analyze, in what way I can be better than the competition, how they're thinking and how can I improve it. So I see like best plumbers, top plumbers in LA, whatever. Like what I would do is that I would target only keywords. So what I could, what I could do, let's say that I'm from the uh, New York, what I would do that I would create an ad group called uh, the exact match plumber, New York, then I would create an ad Tom plumber in New York. Call now. And then I would have it like this would be perfect ad. And let me tell you, I would have good results with it. And this is like good. Okay, call now. Description. You can have also like the display path here. Description would be good price with amazing quality. And you can have also like the second description. And this is how we got it. So this is how we create it. You really need to test and you can really play around it, how to do it. And then just click save and continue. And then you just pay for the ad. Now we're just loading, it will be loading. Maybe we did some kind of error here, but this is how we actually do it, guys. It is pretty simple, pretty easy to create a Google ad, but definitely test, test, test and test. If you want to like help you with it or you have some questions about Google Ads, I'm really happy to help you and provide you some feedback and guidance. Yeah, I have all. So this is how we do it. Thank you, everybody. If you have any questions, ask me down below in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you. Have a great day and goodbye.